Recent protests inside Iran have been deadly, with security forces turning their weapons on their own people and threatening to resolutely confront growing unrest over economic struggles. The regime has also lashed out at the U.S. and Israel, accusing them of trying to trick protesters. Today, the Israeli prime minister spoke directly to the Iranian people on Twitter. The Iranian people are brilliant. They're innovative. So why is Iran so poor? Why is unemployment so rampant? The answer is in two words, the regime. U.S. officials have also been quick to blame Tehran's corruption and mismanagement for the country's economic troubles. Workers aren't getting paid. Strikes are a daily occurrence. And the real is plummeting. Youth unemployment is at a staggering 25 percent. Analysts suggest the anger isn't solely about economic concerns. The recent protests, including the nationwide bus and truck driver strikes, are actually designed to say that politics and economics are linked in the Islamic Republic, and those who want a better lot in life also want a better government. President Trump's decision to pull out of the Iran nuclear deal is giving the regime ammunition to take a hard line with French energy company Total. It has 60 days to negotiate with the U.S. government to secure an exemption from American sanctions. Otherwise, Iran's oil minister is threatening to give control of the world's largest gas field to a Chinese state-owned company. This is the Trump administration is putting the financial squeeze on Tehran and trying to win over its people. U.S. officials assess that the Iranian people, particularly the younger population, are eager for economic, political, and social change. So all indications are the Trump administration will not let up.